Okay, uh, great win for us. I thought, uh, you know, obviously the first half we played about as well as you could play, offensively and defensively. Um, the second half, our defense, uh, we didn't have the same intensity uh, there, and I thought that that got them going. Uh, our, our, we gave, gave them some open shots we didn't give them in the first half. Uh, in terms of just how we got to the shooters, a little much better in the first half. We cut off the driving lanes much better in the first half. And they were able to get in the paint and take advantage of that second half. And a team like this, as athletic as their guards are, you can't let that happen. They got a little bit momentum, but uh, I'm proud of how our kids fought and held on there and uh, finished the game. Coach, with, the, with their second half run, is it something where you try to let your kids play through that and, 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 and work it out and, and try to deal with the adversity? Is that something you want to see from them? Yeah, I do. I, I do want them to do that. And I think that, you know, we can learn, we're going to learn a lot from this game. And I think it's the first time we were in this position this year in terms of uh, um, being able to handle it both offensively and defensively. And, uh, uh, you know, there were some times there, I think, offensively in the second half, we, we took some quick shots, you know, in terms of we got a little passive. And, um, you know, obviously Malcolm, you know, didn't have a good offensive night shooting the ball. The five assists, no turnovers. But, uh, you know, he was pressing a little bit there offensively. Um, but obviously these two guys, I mean, Reggie was a man. In the paint, and uh, you know, it's fifth, I think it's fourth double double or fifth double double. And uh, you know, and then obviously, Dwayne had one of those games tonight, and you know, he was able to close it out making his free throws. Is that first half the best first half of basketball you, you played this year? Yeah, yeah, they did not far. You know, against a high level team, and they really came out and uh, we were ready to play. And, and this team is good, this team could win the West and the SEC, so uh, this, is a, this is a great win for us. We've had some other games where you've gotten off to slow starts. Is Garius giving you something different in there? I think he, I think he's no question he helps uh, in terms of our start and having another ball handler in there and, and the, you know he plays plays smart. Uh, but um, I think all our guys are ready to play today. I think we had a good focus to start that ball game. Is Garius okay? I know he kind of took a tumble there late. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We put him back in the game. Uh, okay. He fell right on his knee. He's been having a little bit of problems with his knee. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, uh, it's, he, he was able to get back in the game, so I think he's fine. Just I guess the way Adrian shot the ball today looked like the best shooting game he's had this season so far. How much did that help open up the offense? You guys scored a lot of points in the first half. Yeah, it, you know, and Adrian has been waiting for the, one of those games. He hadn't had one of those games yet, and you know, I think uh, bringing him off the bench has helped. And, and uh, he got loose, and uh, when he gets like that, you know, he can reel off a couple in a row. And uh, I think it was his career high or maybe his season high. Did you feel it out there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a man of many words. <laughs> uh, I should never ask a yes or no question. <laughs> yeah, it's on you, though. <laughs> I guess, was there anything different about today? Or was it just you feel it in warm ups? Uh, nah, I mean, I still do my same uh, regimen. Uh, still getting shots up after practice. I mean, Hard work, it just is going to eventually it's going to fall from yeah. And Duran, just uh, 25 points seemed like a really good game for you overall. How did you, uh, second half when things were starting to slip away, how did you guys kind of correct it? Because when they cut it to nine, what were you guys able to do to sort of get control again? I, I think the main thing, uh, we try to stay together with teams and try to stay focused. <clears throat> and um, knowing that uh, the, the adversity was coming, they, was, they had a little run. Uh, staying together, just, uh, just, just basically build up a wall for us, uh, for us as a team to stay strong. And um, I think that, that was our, uh, our main key while we finished um, well in the second half. Was there, was there an intention to come out with such a purpose in the first half? You guys really looked like you were hustling on both ends of the floor. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, like it's something we talked about, but uh, everybody, like I said, everybody came out with that focus and ready, and ready to play. You know? Everybody just did the same thing, like AT said. So I think once you just keep flowing, keep flowing, it's, it's just going to happen. And uh, it, was a, it was a great win for us, and it's definitely a game we can learn from. They have veteran guards, obviously. They've been through a lot. How did you, how did you, did you approach that? Was that a challenge that, that you wanted to see or not get or have any effect at all? No, I just, just kept my focus and did exactly what my coach wanted me to do. And, uh, and um, I sometimes knowing that uh, I, I, I see things as I'm on the floor better than he does. So 
Uh, I just got to know when to do things and uh, how to, when to penetrate, when to pass, and, and do things so we can stay in this ball game. Did you kind of look at Frank? Did you kind of look at that you had an advantage inside? Yeah, that was the key going in the game. We want to play inside out, and I thought Reggie uh, uh, was was huge, particularly there in the first half. And uh, I think Reggie got a little winded there at the end. He couldn't hold on to the ball, and uh, he had a couple of other opportunities, and he missed some chippies that he made in the first half. Uh, I thought he got a little fatigued there, but uh, uh, but that's you know we had uh, I think we had 21 second chance points. And that's something we talked about in this ball game was the ability to rebound and that's going to get second shots. Another big game coming up, how do you keep the intensity going? Well we've gotta we gotta learn from this game and take some things from this game uh, and be ready to play. I mean we're gonna play a team that's got nine players returning from a team that went to the final four last year. It's a heck of an opportunity. You know, and uh, a team is an upper division team in that big east and uh, um, you know we got it is gonna be exciting for our guys to have a chance to Compete against a great team. Karen, are you guys excited for that for that matchup coming up? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, like the coach says, it's a great opportunity. It's not it's an opportunity that um, we don't want to lose and uh, and take for granted. Uh, we just want to go in there and play, play as play as hard as we can, do exactly what the coach tells us to do, and um, just uh, end that game with no regrets, and hopefully we come out with a double. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.